Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Dyra DK61 program. Okay, so first we're going to open the Dyra DK61 software. And you sh hopefully you should have it on, on your desktop. If you do not, go install it. This is, an, I made another video, so go check that out. And yeah, w once you install it, just come back to this video. And you might, it might not open, so just click on it or click on open down here. So first, you could remap your keys. So I'm just gonna do an example W. You could do, you could disable it. Click OK and then click Save. And then there would be like a loading thing back here. And your keyboard will turn off the lights. This is perfectly normal. And as you can see, it is not working. So W is disabled. We can go back into default. We could do macros. And you set up macros here. I have, I'm pretty sure, four different ma macros. I don't know how to open them, but four different macros. And you could just set it up here, macro, and then you could click which one. Um, you could launch a program. So I'm gonna let's see here. Um, let's see, Internet Explorer. Let's find the actual program here. Epic Games Launcher. Engine config windows. Oh, there's nothing in here. Uh, I just need a program. Windows mail. Hmm. Yeah, let's just uh, Google Chrome application. There you go. So we're gonna click on OK, and once we click W, we're gonna save, and something should pop up. I'm guessing. And if none of this works. Just to open your, just restart it, or and then if this that doesn't work, just restart your computer. So we're gonna click W, and it and it opened. And finally, we do have keyboard function, so we could change the keyboard to Shift, click OK, and click Save. I don't know how it show you that, but it's shift. So I'm gonna reset it. It this just takes a while. One second. Okay, and now we're gonna go to default, okay, and save. So that's it for here. And you could also select different profiles. So pretend you want like a weekend like type of keyboard. And you make one of these like your like Fortnite or like, your any game you play. You make this for like school, so like you have multiple like keys back. You could th make this basically whatever you want. Sync program, this like doesn't really do anything. I don't know what this does, but it does something. Um, and we're just gonna save all of this or just delete all of it because I don't want anything messing up. Next thing we have is lighting. This is basically just another profile one. So you could have like a rainbow one, like everything you want. So you could do this. And click save it will close your keyboard lights will close and then turn on again and if this doesn't work like just happened to me close the program and then open it again all right and we're back here and now you switch it to all light and then here and then save and it should switch and on my keyboard, it just switched. And now we're going to do macros. So you go over to macros, and you could record I. If you want like Fortnite macros, you could do Fortnite macros. You could just spam F, and just keep spamming it. There is a limit. It should tell me the limit. Yep, recording automatically stops after a maximum of 80 is reached. So this is 80 times worth of macros right here. And then no delay. And then you click save. There will not be a delay. So you can literally just macro in Fortnite. Like, 
as easy as you can. Or you could do default delay and it will just fix itself. And you just click add and it should add. Um, delay time, you could also do that and then click on that. So it's not telling me that I can because I went over my macros. But just restart the program. It will do it once again. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any more questions, tutorials, or anything you just want me to make a video around of, leave it in the comments down below. Like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.